You wanted to see me? Yes. In fact, I have a present for you. Your first client. I don't understand. Brian, if we're going to follow through on you being promoted and working on your own, we need to do this, right? You're right. Who's the client? Bespoke handbags. Their landlord found out they use ammonia, they never disclosed it, and they're being kicked out of their building. That's bullshit. This is just a ploy because they found a new tenant. And what are you gonna do about it? Because they have us on a technicality and they know it. I'm gonna figure out who the new tenant is and try to stop it. Thus proving yourself worthy of this client. <sighs> Except there are thousands of potential tenants out there. How am I gonna figure out who it is? That good sir is your problem. No it isn't. It's ours. Brian, the whole point of this- Hear me out. Remember that algorithm you use to determine who should stay and who should be fired? Of course. Patty. Well, if you could use it for that. I can alter it for this. Okay. Though you realize this still means we're working together. With one key difference. You're working for me. And I don't tolerate slackers, so have that shit ready by 10 tomorrow. I got a case to win. All right. That should be the last variable. What's it say? Hold on. It's calculating. God damn it, it only narrowed the list down to 800. Well, that's a lot lower than what we started with, so maybe we can- What, get it down to 300? What difference will it make? We have less than a day. Look, what do you want me to say? It was an idea, Katrina. I didn't know the program wouldn't work this time. I know, Brian, I'm sorry, I'm just- Wait a second. The program didn't work this time, but the program didn't work last time either. It said other people were more valuable than you. And while I love being reminded of that, I don't see how that- Think about it. Patty was wrong because she didn't take into account your intangibles. I had to be convinced to keep you. You mean we need to convince that property owner that our client is more valuable than whoever they want to replace us with? Exactly. Mr. Barrow, this isn't about amounts of ammonia so small they're a technical violation of our lease. This is about you having another tenant willing to pay more. Who I may or may not have doesn't matter. It should, because we're willing to offer you something they're not. 10% equity in the company. A fledgling company with unproven revenue. No, Morgan, they're more than that. You see, when you look at our client, you see a naive young entrepreneur and not much else. And on paper, that's exactly what she is. But sometimes who someone is on paper isn't who they are at all. My client may be young, but she's brilliant and hardworking most importantly, passionate. That's why I'm proud to work with her and why if you get in on the ground floor right now, you won't need to worry about leases or any of that anymore. Because you'll be on an island somewhere sipping pina coladas paid for by the brilliant decision you made today. The only thing I'd be paying for is some snake oil and a silver tongue because that's the biggest load of sappy bullshit. Shut from your mouth. This man is defending his client's honor. He's doing it by offering you something you don't even deserve, and I've had it. Katrina. You think I don't know who your mysterious other tenant is? I do. And if a food distribution company rents space that's been exposed to significant amounts of ammonia without you disclosing it, you'll go to prison. You can't do this. Yes, we can, you piece of shit. In fact, that offer just went away. So keep us in or kick us out, but your next tenant isn't going to be the goddamn one you had in mind.